Hey guys, it's Sandro here, and today's video is all about answering a few questions that I get all too often, which are, which Meguiar's wax is the best, or which one should I buy, and what's the difference between them? Now this is a video that I actually got inspired to do during the holiday break when most of the online stores were closed or had long shipping delays. And although I bought all these products with my own money, and this is by no way a sponsored video, I still want to give a shout out and big thanks to Super Cheap Auto for always having these products on hand and always just being a quick drive away so I can get what I need and make this content whenever the opportunity arises. Now although the Meguiar's range of waxes and sealants is quite massive with so many to choose from, the four products I've chosen to review in this video which are Gold Class Wax, Deep Crystal Wax, Ultima Wax and NXT Polymer Paint Sealant are four of the most popular waxes and sealants and are also some of the most requested products that you guys have repeatedly asked me to review so I do actually listen and try to make these requested videos when I can. So today I'll be comparing the characteristics of these waxes to evaluate them in areas such as their application and user experience, gloss levels, slickness, water behavior, chemical resistance and durability so that when it comes time to buy one, you can make a well-informed decision based on what's most important to you. But beyond that, I've actually used all of these in the past, so I'll also be drawing on that past experience to help make this a well-rounded review. And I'll lastly add that apart from Deep Crystal Wax, the rest of these products are also available in a tub or wax paste form, and although some people will always swear that a paste wax is better, I've personally found that from an objective testing perspective, there really isn't a measurable difference. But what I have found is that traditional paste waxes do seem to have a slightly better cleaning ability if you haven't properly decontaminated or polished the paint beforehand, but otherwise you should see a very similar result with either variant. Now just before I jump into the review, I wanted to do a quick demonstration and explain how a wax should be correctly applied as it's another question I get all the time. But if you're well versed in this area, feel free to skip ahead a couple of minutes to the start of the review. Now although there are exceptions, the application of most car waxes and even many old school sealants is quite similar. First and foremost, you should be working on clean bare paint and out of direct sunlight. Secondly, the general working method is to apply a very small amount to an applicator pad and work in an area about a half meter square at a time, you'll thoroughly and evenly apply it, either using small circular motions or overlapping vertical and horizontal lines, which I personally prefer. You'll then allow the wax or sealant a short amount of time to flash or haze over, as a sign that it's bonded to the paint, and then proceed to collect the excess residue with a microfiber cloth, and then finally buff it streak free with a clean section of your cloth. A few points to add are that how long you need to wait before you wipe it down will depend on the ambient temperature. So in extreme hot climates it may be as little as a minute, and in extreme cold climates it could be half an hour or longer, but on average I'd say about 5 to 10 minutes is about right in most cases. You can also test to see if the wax has had enough time to flash and cure by swiping your finger over it. If you get a nice clean or chalky mark, that means that it's ready to be wiped off. But if you get a smeared or greasy streak mark, that means that it needs a little more time. And although these methods should work fine in most cases, you should also read the specific label of your wax or sealant for some more specific information which should further help you out. But beyond that, these products have certain resins that will typically need anywhere from a few hours to half a day to fully set and cure and reach their maximum performance. The first area of testing was the user experience you have when applying them. I'll start by saying that as a whole, the application of each and every one of these products is fairly similar and straightforward. But in saying that, there still are differences in how easy or difficult each particular wax or sealant is to apply and the overall experience you get from each one. Starting with Gold Class Wax, you'll notice that it does have a bit of grip to its feel as you start applying it. And although its smell is by no means overpowering, it is a nice, subtle, but a hard to pinpoint fresh scent. Overall, it does spread throughout the section without too much effort. And after your applicator is primed with it, 
You really don't need to add too much for each additional section, which really is the case with most of them. Now I did notice that gold class needed a bit more time than all the other waxes and sealant to finally start to flash and haze over. Additionally, I also found that at least compared to the other waxes in this test, gold class was the one that constantly required a bit more time and effort to completely remove its residue and achieve that perfect streak free finish. Now it's not like it was leaving obvious or heavy streak marks behind, but rather just some subtle streak marks that in many cases you may not even notice unless you have some good lighting. But nonetheless, I did end up having to spend a bit more time and use a few extra microfiber cloths to collect that final bit of residue in order to get the paint perfectly clean and clear. Next up was Deep Crystal Wax. Now unless you apply all these products side by side at the same time, it's really going to be difficult to truly experience the difference in the application. But if you do, it's just amazing how much nicer, easier and super quick Deep Crystal Wax is to apply. It spreads throughout the section with such a seamless and rewarding experience which continues through to the wipe off which almost feels like it'd be impossible to make it any easier or quicker as it literally wipes off with just a quick wipe or two to a perfect clear and streak free finish. In fact I'll go as far as to say that of all the dozens if not hundreds of waxes I've used in the past, Deep Crystal Wax is at least as easy and forgiving to work with than any of them. Now scent or smell can be quite a subjective thing, but for me personally it's banana like scent was also my favourite out of the bunch. The third wax was Meguiar's Ultimate. Now just like Gold Class it does have a more subtle smell compared to Crystal Wax, having a more slightly tropical and pleasant scent. As far as application goes, it does apply rather nicely with just minimal resistance. And although the wipe off isn't what I consider to be class leading, it's by no means a difficult one. So I would actually place it in between gold class wax being a little quicker and easier to apply with less chance of any streaks or smearing in the finish, but not quite as easy and rewarding to use as crystal wax. I also found that it tends to flash and haze a little quicker than gold class but not as quick or rapid as Crystal Wax. So all in all, as far as user experience goes, I found it really sits somewhere in the middle. Lastly was NXT Polymer Paint Sealant. Now I realise that it's not an actual wax, but the truth is that all the other waxes here are by no means pure traditional waxes. In fact, they all contain various amounts and variations of certain synthetic polymers found in sealants. Now compared to the previous three waxes, NXT definitely feels a bit more grippy as you lay it down. So it will be a touch more work applying it, though it's certainly nothing overly bad, just more of an observation that becomes apparent. And that slightly increased resistance or friction also carries on to the wipe off, which will again just be a touch grippier to wipe off and level down. But in all honesty, it's actually quite similar to Gold Class in many ways. And you'll also notice that it's the only product here that has no added scent or nice smell. But it's actually quite solventy in smell, which I'd actually guess is due to Meguiar's trying to distinguish it from its waxes and make it smell a little more serious due to it being a fully synthetic sealant. Now for the next portion of testing, I prepared a flat and black haze test panel to help show you guys on camera a little better the other performance differences between these products. All the waxes and the sealant were applied at the same time in the same conditions to hopefully gain the most accurate and fair comparisons. And the test panel was left to cure overnight before the testing took place. The next area of testing was assessing the gloss and saturation levels that these products are able to achieve on automotive paint. 
Now hopefully you guys can see in the footage just how well all these waxes and sealants have managed to add obvious amounts of increased gloss, depth and saturation to this hazed and swirled panel. However, there still are a few differences between them. First and foremost, it's quite obvious to me that NXT has definitely managed to separate itself from the other three waxes, showing a far greater ability to mask and fill in the existing swirls in the paint as well as create a darker and wetter looking finish that really stands out and looks quite amazing. Secondly, the next thing that stood out to me was that both Gold Class and Ultimate Wax had the next greatest ability to mask and fill in the minor defects of the paint compared to Deep Crystal Wax. However, what I also discovered as I did quite a bit more testing on various panels before this review was that when the paint was well corrected and relatively defect free, Deep Crystal Wax definitely looked darker and more saturated than both Gold Class and Ultimate Wax. So in other words, if your paint isn't in the best condition, both Gold Class and Ultimate will in fact do a better job at masking some of those swirls or haze. But if your paint is in relatively good condition, Crystal Wax will tend to look even better than the other two really making it more of a show wax in that way. Now from a completely objective standpoint, NXT Polymer Sealant really does seem to do a lot more in relation to gloss than any of the other three waxes. But as the look of paint can be a more subjective thing, NXT does have that wetter, slicker looking finish that some people prefer, whereas the other three waxes do have a more traditional glow to them that some people also prefer. The next test was the feel or slickness that each of them create in the finish. Now once again, based on how they feel to the touch, as well as the lack of friction that they create, all of them did perform quite well in this area, and actually much better than most waxes as a whole based on my testing. However, I would say that both Gold Class and Ultima Wax were the middle runners here and very close in this area, with Ultima Wax just having that touch more slickness between them. While Deep Crystal Wax fell a little short compared to the other three, which has really got more to do with how well the others performed rather than it being bad in this area. But once again, NXT Polymer Sealant was the clear winner here, which was also quite evident in how slick it felt to the touch. Some days there's no one else who loves me like you used to. Some days I'm not myself, there's no one I can turn to. And I know all the feelings that we shared are in the past. Mm -hmm. So onto some water behavior or hydrophobic testing. Now as I've mentioned in past videos, there seems to be a correlation between the hydrophobic performance of a paint protection product and the other characteristics that it displays, such as its self-cleaning properties, chemical resistance and durability. And although this isn't always 100% the case, I have found that most waxes, sealants and coatings that have great water behavior also seem to perform rather well in many other areas. Now first up, it's quite apparent that all four do have some fairly decent hydrophobic behavior, but it's also nothing overly spectacular and pretty much on par from what I'd expect from a quality car wax, which won't be quite at the same level of a hybrid sealant or ceramic coating. The other thing to mention is that although there is some slightly better and slightly poorer water behavior between them, there really isn't that much in it from best to worst, which was actually a little surprising. At the top of the list, both Gold Class and Ultimate Wax were just ever so slightly displaying superior water bead contact angles and water sheeting rates that did eventually seem to outdo the other two after exposing the panels to various water spray patterns. And although I did try to separate them, their water behavior was just too close to call. Next in line was NXT Polymer Paint Sealant. Now this was actually the biggest surprise to me, as I honestly thought that it would easily be the best product here. But even after testing the products on other panels, 
it became quite evident that NXT was just constantly a step down in performance compared to Gold Class and Ultimate Wax. In last place was Deep Crystal Wax, that again was very close but just another step down. Though it's probably also important to note that I've actually placed Deep Crystal Wax up against some of the best waxes on the market, and it actually did better than most of them in this area. So once again, it's got more to do with the other waxes performing a little better rather than Deep Crystal Wax performing poorly. Now, once we get to some chemical resistance testing, you'll also see that the results were almost identical to the water behavior results, with both Gold Class and Ultimate Wax faring a little better, showing more resistance to the chemical, while both Deep Crystal Wax and NXT were again just a step down in this area. So, as I mentioned before, there really seems to be a direct correlation between water behavior and chemical resistance in many cases. Now while you guys have a look at the rest of the footage, I'll just sum up this video with my thoughts. Now from my own personal standpoint, when it comes to the user experience with a ceramic coating and even certain hybrid sealants, I'm willing to work a little harder and even forgive a more difficult application because of the performance and longevity of them. But when it comes to a wax, an easy and pleasurable user experience is actually at the top of my list. As for me, a car wax is more about that finishing touch or dressing on the paint, as well as an opportunity to enjoy and connect with your car. So a difficult or stressful application just completely ruins that experience, at least for me. But as I mentioned, I wouldn't say that any of these waxes or sealant have a bad user experience. But I would say that Deep Crystal Wax is such a lovely application that the rest just can't compete with. I'd also say that if you're someone who really takes care of their car paint, Deep Crystal Wax is also most likely going to be the one that works best to amplify and boost the finish for that show car like finish. Now if you're not someone who's a fan of paint sealants or coatings and are really looking for a wax with some longer durability and a better ability to mask minor swirls and haze, then both Gold Class and Ultimate Wax will be a better choice. But with its higher Canuba Wax content, Gold Class really does seem to sway a little more towards the traditional wax look and feel, while with its slightly slicker feel and look, Ultimate Wax tends to sway more towards the hybrid wax side of things. Though in all honesty guys, these two waxes were by far the two closest matched in the testing. Lastly, if you're not too concerned about whether it's a wax or a sealant, and you don't mind just a slightly stickier application, NXT will have that nice silky touch and an increased ability to fill in minor paint defects, compared to the other three, especially on something like a daily driver, which can be difficult to always maintain. But I have to be honest in saying that I was a little surprised that it's hydrophobic and chemical resistance performance wasn't as good as I'd expect from a synthetic sealant. But in saying that, I know Meguiar's can make a sealant with amazing hydrophobic behavior and chemical resistance, which you guys can see in my review of Meguiar's hybrid ceramic wax, which may be worth a look if those qualities are at the top of your list. In any case, I really hope you guys enjoyed and found this video useful. Please share this video, like, comment, and subscribe to this channel to show you support for this content and I'll see you guys soon. It might take some time, but I'll be alright. I'm moving on. I'm moving on. I know times are tough, but I've had enough.